Yo, what's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well today and welcome back to another Hero Contara video. Now in this video, I got another showcase for you guys. Today we're going to be showcasing Triple S Black March Bam. Now a couple of days ago, I did do a showcase on Kuhn. I... Um, I, you know, I did a showcase on his Triple S. I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But today we're going to be, you know, reviewing Triple S Black March Man, man. So, I honestly was never going to Triple S him because I wanted to Triple S Crusade Mira. But if you guys watched my summons, you know what happened. I literally went live to do my summons. I did like 280. Um, you know, I did like 280 summons in total and got zero copies of her. As an off stream, I did another 320 summons and I only got two copies. So I'm not going to be triple S'ing Crusade Mira, yo, just because, like, I didn't get lucky on it, man. But bam, I had him already at 6 star, so I just had to get the, you know, SSS materials to go ahead and get him to SSS, which I did. So let's go ahead and take a look at his equipment right here. So I got this uh, exclusive equipment, sorry. All it does is just gives him some HP, nothing too serious. Um, I got the ear ornament here. It gives him 900 attack and 9% crit hit damage. Uh, rare magical staff. It gives him 4.2% attack. Skill damage 7.5. Attack, debuff accuracy, and some more attack. We got the guitar. Attack, attack, attack. Armor crash accuracy. And then for the sets right here, we got two SS sets and two A sets. Now, the reason I'm using two A sets because... If you guys didn't know, if you link A quality, um, you know, equipment with A quality equipment at the top as well, it actually counts as a four item boost. So as you can see, I'm getting a four item boost right here. And the SS is also giving me that two item boost. So I'm getting a pretty good attack buff from these items right here. And for my relics as well, I am running a full level 20, um, Black March Relic, so here's our, here are the boosts for it. It's it's pretty good boost, honestly. And I'm running um, this Relic right here as well at level 20. The reason I'm running this Relic is because it obviously accumulates attacks. But it gives him HP and defense, which I kind of need because I do use him in the front. And, you know, I he does tank quite a bit for me. So I kind of do need this one right here. But yeah, let's just go ahead and go over his skills real quick. And then, you know, I'll start showcasing him after I go over his skills. So his number one ability... Attacks one opponent with 120% attack and creates a shield with 15% of maximum HP for one turn. Creates the same shield for one ally while Black March is summoned. So if you guys don't know, the way to summon Black March, as soon as you go under 50% HP, Black March is automatically summoned. Just keep that in mind. And then his second attack right here attacks two opponents with 130% attack and inflicts 115% additional damage if the opponent is a boss monster. Decrease defense by 90% for two turns while Black March is summoned. And then his third ability attacks one opponent in the back row with 250% attack and boosts the attack of the hero by 30% of the allies attack for three turns. Attacks all opponents by inflicting damage to them with a wave with 100% attack, 150% to boss monster for 3 turns while Black March is summoned. And then his, fir his first passive, 20% attack, 15% crit hit rate, and 10% HP. And um, this is a Black March summon. Ignores all damage taken at that turn when HP falls below 50% and summons Black March. And then his final ability right here, his X ability. Pierce attacks the opponents with the highest attack with 250% attack and becomes immune to damage for one turn. Inflicts 50% additional damage when in Black March status. So Black March Bam is honestly really, really good. His skills are really good and he does really high amounts of damage. And at the same time, he also a couple of skills also help him stay alive, you know, to tank more and that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into Arena. Um, let me find somebody with a good amount of power. Okay, right here. We got Monju right here with 343,000. Now I'm running Bam, um, Crusade Mira, Kuhn, and uh, Maskeni right here. And he has Bam, Mira, Kuhn, and Clory. So pretty similar teams. He just doesn't have Maskeni. And he has Clory instead of her. But let's go ahead and get started and see what kind of damage you know we can do with Bam right here. Um, let's start off with him. Um, we'll put him second. Actually, uh, actually, I'll put Kuhn since Kuhn is um, is gonna boost him by 30% attack. We'll do that, and then we'll do this right here. All 
Alright, so, like I said, we're trying to see how much damage he's going to do in PvP, because PvP is obviously a pretty important part of this game. So, I don't have Black March summoned right now, and boom, like, he did 66,000 and 77,000 to the other opponent, and, you know, they're almost dead, honestly. So, that, in my opinion, that damage is honestly super good. Obviously, somebody like Crusade Mira can probably do more damage, but at the same time, when he falls under 50% HP, the amount of damage he does is simply crazy, man. He's almost under 50%. We'll probably be able to get him under 50%. At this turn right here. Let's see if we can get a stun. Stop him from attacking. We'll do this. Alright. And boom, look at that. 80k, 60k. Really good damage, man. Oh, we didn't get the Black March. I should have probably not stunned them. Stunned them. That was kind of a bad idea. Um, no problem, though. We'll probably show him off again in Advent Boss, so you guys can see what kind of damage, you know, he can do. I think Advent Boss will be a better option to showcase. Uh, but yeah, alright, there we go. So let's go ahead and jump into Advent Boss and see what kind of damage he does. Um, back out, please. Okay, there we go. World, Advent Boss. Let's do Salamander here. Now, I did beat 11. I'm obviously not going to attempt 12. It's way too hard. Um, I want to run him by himself, so I think, um, should I do 8 or 9? I think we can do 9. Uh, I, cause I just kind of want to show you guys how quick he can kill enemies and that kind of stuff. I forgot to turn off auto, but that's no problem. Now, keep in mind, they are level 160 opponents. They are not weak or anything. But we started off with a 75k attack. Now, you see what's really nice? You see how, like, um... Like right now, he attacks, right? He took zero damage on this one because he creates a shield for himself. Which is a really good thing, right? Because, and you know, in stuff like Advent Bosses and stuff, it gets really annoying. So it's really important to create a shield. And see, right now he just fell under below 50%. He took zero damage because he's immune when he summons Black March for the first time. And now the attacks are going to do way more damage. Well, I'm probably going to die anyways. Uh, yeah, and see, he also decreases their defense by 90%, which is pretty big. But yeah, uh, I think this was a bad idea, but I mean, as you guys can see, look at the damage, 400k. Let's go to level 8. I think we can definitely work with level 8. Yeah, because 9 was a little too overkill. Oh no, I turned on auto. Turn off. There we go. Let's go on level 8 right here, and we should be able to be at least, you know, the first um, minions right here. 42k, not too bad for a first attack, because like I said, he creates a shield for himself, so he can stay alive for longer periods of time. We got 87k on that crit, and I think it was 40k on that normal attack, the, the ones that did not crit. Right now, we're just trying to summon Black March. Now, my crit right, see, there we go, and he's going to take no damage. He just took two damage. Uh, there we go. We got his ability right here. Let's go ahead and use it. Now, this isn't Black March State, so it is going to do a little more damage. I believe 50% more. Boom. Look at that. 400k damage. That's insane, man. And keep in mind, he's not getting boosted by Kuhn or anything. Like, if I had Kuhn on my team right now, he he would have probably did easily 600k on the X skill, man. Because, you know, Kuhn gives him an attack boost. And boom, as you can see, he, he finished him off easily. Oh, look at that. We got a shield. Boom. He attacked us. He did no damage. We got his special again. And he's going to be immune. So when he attacks us, he's not going to be, you know, able to kill us. But right here, 470k damage. We're almost at a half a million. That's honestly crazy without any boost, right? Like if we had Kuhn right now, he'd be doing crazy amounts of damage. Now I'm going to use his first because I don't want to die. Yep, see? Uh, oh, we died from burn damage. That sucks. But you guys, you guys see my point. Like, the amount of damage he's doing is is insane. He did 2.1 million damage just by himself without any support or healing. It, he's really nice because he can hold himself. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it for this showcase. I just wanted to show you guys my, my Triple S Kuhn. I understand it's not easy to get Triple S, but, you know, I personally can. But, you know, if you guys are... If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoy my content, like and subscribe. And turn on notifications so you do not miss any future uploads. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.